Well, I finished this side of the garden this morning. Gave everybody that needed a haircut, a haircut. I deadheaded some flowers and I found, I refreshed the hummingbird food and I found this. It's not looking happy now, but it will. I just gave it a drink, replanted it. It's a goldenrod. And all the way in the back there, it's a cleom or a spider flower. And I don't remember what these are called, but they're coming back. And my alyssums, they're hiding underneath this zinnia. My alyssums are coming up. These zinnias are from last year. I'm really excited. And these are periwinkles. I'm gonna leave them there for now, but I think I'm gonna plant them around my camellia bush while I give it a haircut. <laughs> these Cosmos, I don't remember the name of them. They came up again from last year. These Johnny Jump Ups came up from last year. And this, and these Hysip came up from last year. And this Petunia, is it a Petunia? I think it's a Petunia. I planted this in my vegetable garden and took a piece of it and it seems to be doing okay here. Another Johnny jump up. And my rose bush is happy. Look at all the blooms. And another um, zinnia from last year. That's all just on this side. Look at all the stuff I took off of my rosemary. And she's still massive. Look at her down there. Oh boy. I pruned everything up, cleaned everything up. I made it look so much better. Um, this side really needs me now, but I'm gonna start down here by the hairiest part. There are little flowers mixed in all around. Again, some cosmos in the back that are coming up on their own. Those are the bright light cosmos. Uh-oh, I see some wasps hanging out in there. So I better be careful when I go to trim those back. But I got a lot of weeding to do. This side I've always, I put off every time. I always start from over here and then work my way over. And by the time I get here, I, thought I get overwhelmed and I just give up. So this time I'm starting over here. My dahlias I just trimmed back and I cut a bunch off and put those in the house. Look at all the blooms getting ready to come back up. Beautiful. So, yeah. Um, I was asked yesterday in the short video that I put up if I could give some tips. You know, it's always trial and error, really. If you're not sure, if you've never grown the flower before, do some research. Find out where the flower grows best, whether it's full sun, shade, what season does it grow in, spring, summer, fall, throughout the winter. Um, plant it when it says to be planted and nurture the seed accordingly to the package. I did that and I lost a lot of plants, but they're coming up this year. So don't give up. Just keep the weeds back and keep it watered when you know that the soil is dry. If it's too wet, don't water it. Let it dry out in between. If it needs a lot of water, plant it near flowers that need a lot of water. If it doesn't need as much, plant it near something that doesn't need as much. And that way you're not watering too much all the time. Just learn what the fl flower likes and nurture it when it's a baby. Keep it weeded back, but the biggest thing that I can tell you really is just believe. Believe that what God said about you is true, that he will bless the work of your hands. So if you show up and you pull back the weeds and you nurture that baby, it will grow. It might not grow this season, but it will grow. That's it for right now. I got to get back to it.